Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Manco. Two men are behind bars after a shooting in one Kanawha County community. One of the suspects led police on a chase to South Charleston and broke into a business. 13 News reporter Lane Ball has this story. Kanawha County Sheriff's Office tells us this started as a robbery, but it quickly escalated to a shooting and then a police pursuit. Richard Dangan of Ravenswood and Jonathan Cochran of Charleston were arraigned in Kanawha County Magistrate Court Monday night. According to the criminal complaints, they both met the victim at Walnut Valley Drive in Cross Lanes Monday morning to buy a handgun. It goes on to say the victim let the two men into his car and they took the gun by force. The victim then pulled out a second handgun and fired towards his driver's side window, attempting to scare the suspects. But Dangan and Cochran took the first gun and ran away. One of the men then allegedly fired one round into the car's rear window, and you can see the bullet holes in this video. The victim then got out of the car and was shot twice in the back. Kanawha County Chief Deputy Joe Crawford says the victim was taken to a hospital and is in stable condition at this time. He also says Dangit left the scene leading police on a long pursuit, disrupting normal traffic. The vehicle uh, entered I-64 going the wrong direction, traveling um, eastbound in the westbound lanes of I-64 around Dunbar. Dangit drove to South Charleston and then allegedly broke into a business. The owner says Dangit told him he needed a place to stay out of the cold, and that's when he noticed the door was broken and pulled out his own handgun for what he says was the first time in his life. I told him to leave and I'm licensed to carry a firearm. I did have a firearm and I told him it's the only time in my life I've ever pointed a firearm at somebody, but I told him to leave. So he took off running down the street. Deputies found Dangit near 2nd Avenue and Central Avenue and arrested him. Cochran was also found and arrested on a KRT bus around the same time. Dangan and Cochran are both being charged with robbery and malicious assault. More charges could be on the way, and I'll continue to bring you updates as I learn more. But for now, reporting in Charleston, I'm Lane Ball for 13 News.